Hey there, folks, and welcome into another episode of our venture in the game, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. And let me tell you, last week's episode was actually a huge blooper because I was actually going through it again. I'm like, wait a minute, this doesn't feel like it was the first poem written. And surely enough, it wasn't. I actually saved a progress of the first poem and it was so long since I've done it. I forgot that the thumbnail is actually not when it first starts writing the poem. It's the it's the cut slide just before that. So we're going to correct all of that and start over with the Yuri route. But darn it, we're going to give Yuri the credit she deserves. Darn it. So we're going to start it all over fresh. That episode previously has been pulled. So with that, here we go moving forward. And we are going to get into the first episode for Yuri's route correctly this time so with that let's head on over to the poem writer this is where we're supposed to be so with that let's get it right this time <laughs> oh goodness i tell you oh that was hilarious oh my gosh <laughs> okay all right analysis yuri likes the uh the fancy words Let's see. Let's see, Destiny. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one. Let's see. Unrequited. Whoops. That was wrong. Incongruent. I remember that's one that she likes. And Starscape. I don't think so. Very hopeless. Oh, geez. Um. Secretive. Yep. I'll figure that contamination, probably that. Graveyard. Okay. <laughs> Fireworks, no, that's something that's some of the effulgent, whatever that is. Agonizing. Oh my gosh. Philosophy. Yeah, that seems like a little bit more. Disarray, probably. I was not going to choose deletion. Existence, maybe. Vivacious, maybe. Extraordinary, most likely. Oh, nope. Infallible, yep. Disoriented, probably. Alone, probably not. Vitality, yep. Universe, most likely. Clumsy, a tone, yep, most likely. Misfortune, whoops. <laughs> Well, kind of blew it on that one, but hey, whatever. Hi again, Solusuke, says Monica. Hi, Monica. And yes, I see you doing your usual flirtatious little stunt, but it ain't working. It ain't working. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Keep acting like that and making me uncomfortable. I just might. Nah, don't worry about it. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thank you for keeping your promise, Sosuke. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it as expressed by Yuri. But then of course Natsuki jumps in and says, oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year and last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Got a big mouth or a short one. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps their manga collection in the club room. Oh, snap, get wrecked. Get friggin' wrecked. <laughs> Expresses Natsuki. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature, don't got it! Shouts out Natsuki. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. No need to sweat it, guys, interjects Sayori. Sosuke always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. 
He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. Those should be fundamental basic skills. What are you doing? How dependable, observes Yuri. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. That's concerning. Oh, it's not so, <laughs> expresses Sayori. The two of you are really good friends, aren't you? By observation of Yuri. I might be a little jealous. Uh, why are you jealous, Yuri? Expressed Sayori. You and Sosuke can become good friends too, you know? Sayori, I don't think the kind of friendship she's talking about is the one you actually are interpreting she's talking about. Uh, expressed Yuri. Sayori. Oh? Answered Sayori. Ugh. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me in. Oh, 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 oh! You even brought you something today, buddy! She brought you something! Shout it out, Sayori. Wait, whoa, 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 Sayori! Interjects Yuri. Huh? Me? What an honor! Uh, not really, replied Yuri. Oh, no need to be shy, interjected Sayori. It's really nothing, replied Yuri. Well, what is it? Never mind, never mind, forget everything, forget, forget everything. Hey, hey, Agent J, can I borrow your neuralizer, please? <laughs> Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not, expresses Yuri. Ugh, what am I gonna do with this? Somebody give me a neuralizer for myself. Oh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Express Sayori. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Not necessarily, Sosuke. You don't need to bail folk out all the time. Otherwise, how are the good folks gonna learn? Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I was not expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Expresses Yuri. Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right, then. Well, here you go. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I did not want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention. Even if you don't usually read, expresses Yuri. And we could, uh, you know, uh, discuss it if you want it. I do like having uh, some folks around to be able to dialogue about a, uh, a movie or a book or something like that. I do get a kick out of that, finding out kind of the life lessons of it, something in that regard, which is kind of the reason why I started the Life Lesson series. I'm a bit behind on the productions of those, but when I finally catch up, trust and believe it's going to be good. But let's continue. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? So, okay, focus. Focus! She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like. Despite me not reading much, is this fate? <laughs> Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Oh, whew, I dodged the bullet, everyone. I dodged the bullet, expresses Yuri. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. 
but at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Eye contact. Oh no. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. Uh, but that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. S oh, sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, uh, <laughs> replied Yuri. It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably would not have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book that you gave me, right? Mm-hmm, replied Yuri. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Yuri, you're a terrible liar. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh... <laughs> well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant, um, I mean, uh, <laughs> I just happened to buy two of them, yeah, yeah, I, I just had two of them and I, need, I just wanted to support the story, you know what I mean? You know, story power! <laughs> uh, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri is not telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear it. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. All right. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. You know, spoilers is kind of a big thing. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kinda... That's kinda dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> replied Yuri. Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Sosuke? No, it's not that. I mean, I definitely enjoyed those kinds of stories, so don't worry about it. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective, shares Yuri. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals and or their own philosophy that they believe in, then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. Oh gosh, am I rambling again? Not again. I am so sorry you had to hear that. Hey, don't worry about it. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, if you say so, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this serious problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I am terribly sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. Just shut me up. That's, I really don't think you need to worry about that. It just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is just listen. It's a literature club after all. Come on now, it's literature. Ah, replied Yuri. 
that's yeah that is true yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and as a matter of fact i might as well get started on the book that you gave me you don't have to do that replied yuri <laughs> what are you saying just a few moments ago you said you were looking forward to it so why are you back it out now missy oh boy let me just get the book i quickly retrieved that book all right it's fine if i sit here right i slip into the seat that's next to yuri's uh yeah 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 totally fine yeah 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 are you sure you seem a little apprehensive that's uh, uh i'm sorry it's not that i don't want you to it's just something i'm not very used to that is reading in company with someone i see well just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S -s Sorry. I was just, uh, uh. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do? I don't really mean to do that, but it's just a habit of mine, expresses Yuri. Uh, my apologies. I mean, uh, oh boy. <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so, replied Yuri. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here, replied Yuri. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and her forefinger. Ah, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page, and Yuri slides it under her thumb, after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Uh, to turn the page. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh -huh. That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, expresses Yuri. Since you've been so patient with me. Uh, yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a little bit silly of a thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? Replied Yuri. How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I see, replied Yuri. 
Iwa remained silent for a moment. But Sosuke, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Oh no! Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that kind of stuff. I guess I meant more that it's cute. Oh, okay. What are you saying all of a sudden, though? Replied Yuri. Okie dokie, everyone. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ugh. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yuri? Asked Monica. You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not, replied Yuri. It's fine. He releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. All righty then. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Uh, replied Yuri. I guess I don't really have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That is good reasoning, replied Yuri. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters on your own time. Gotcha. I stand up. Make a mental note of where I left off in the book and then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Hey, what you trying to say, cuz? That I got short-term memory? You trying to say I got short-term memory, cuz? Come on. Jeez. I mean, for real, yo. <laughs> yeah, I did. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, that's what you get for letting your own emotions overtake common sense. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? Says Monica. I can't wait! Says Sayori. <laughs> that was dramatic. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. All right, folks. Let's see if we manage to uh, gain Yuri's trust. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Everybody. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional, says Yuri. Huh? What was that? Uh, did, did I say that out loud? <gasps> Oh no! My my thoughts are becoming speech! Anyways. Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. <gasps> Anyways. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. He's, he's gonna hate me. 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 Uh you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Oh? Replied Yuri. That's, uh... I guess you're right about that. <laughs> what am I getting so nervous for? This is good. This is, this is really good. <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So... What kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors in a case you've written a lot of poetry before. Uh, really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? 
Ha! Says Yuri. Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. <laughs> I just meant the... Uh... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, says Yuri. Okay, this is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is the way they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they try to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for, says Yuri. There are so many different writing styles and techniques that go into writing even the simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things, of course. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Bias? How do you mean? Um, replied Yuri. Well, uh, never mind. I should not be talking about people like that. Uh, sorry. That's yeah, fine. I'm not sure if Yuri was apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. You mind if I read your poem now? Please, by all means, please read the poem. <laughs> okay, let me stop. I would love to share my thought process behind it as well. Look at her. She is just, just so excited. Just gleaming with excitement. Like, finally, someone I can relate to. Anyways. Mary smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Oh, trust and believe, Sosuke, it is. Which itself is kind of funny, if you only knew her story. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? It is a literature club. Hopefully you'll treat it like one. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. Did it go through a hurricane? The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Mm, not sure about that. I am so sorry I have such terrible handwriting, says Yuri. Yuri, I'm gonna be honest with you, you're probably one of the remaining folks in this world, even though you're a fictional character, that can do cursive. At least your developers gave you that technique. Thanks, developers. <laughs> huh? I was not thinking that at all, but it took you a long time to read it. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Oh, that's a relief, says Yuri. I also like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short, asked Yuri. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I am really glad you like it. He likes it! He really likes it! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll be honest, says Yuri. 
since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I supposed. Are you in a ghost, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story is not about a ghost at all, Sosuke. Oh, really? Please, enlighten me. I must have totally missed the point. Oh, don't worry, Sosuke, I did too. <laughs> Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. Oh yes, I sure did. Please enlighten me, Yuri. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting in that that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh, it's nothing yeah, really that special, replied Yuri. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah, <laughs> if anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You, you really think so? <laughs> Asked Yuri. Very shyly at that. Yeah, of course. Oh. You know, I was really nervous about doing all of this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Sosuke. I think we won her over, folks. I think we got her attention. Uh, me too. Well then, that was unexpected, but you know what, let's go ahead and we'll pick up on the other sets of folks on the next episode. So we'll see where this is going so far, it's going well, but yeah, we'll get a little bit more backstory of Yuri, I'm sure as well, as we spend more time with her, but Yuri... I'd say ultimately Yuri and Monica are like neck and neck with me as far as favorites. So yeah, Monica, don't take it personal, but at least you're up there in the top two. <laughs> <laughs> but with that, I want to thank everyone for watching this video this time around. If you liked what you saw, maybe consider leaving a like. And if you'd like to see more and you want to check out other things on my channel, I encourage that you do so. And also, I encourage that you subscribe if you haven't already. And also activate the notifications so you can be informed of the next productions to be released. And until next time, happy mixing, everyone.